You know, if you have flown recently, then you certainly have seen this already. Airports are getting busy again. In fact, the TSA says last Sunday was the busiest day at security checkpoints since the pandemic began. Agents screening almost 2 million travelers. Yeah, that's more than four times the number screened on the same day last year. Of course, not many people were traveling then. It's actually causing some serious issues because there just aren't enough TSA workers right now to keep up with the demand. The Washington Post reports that the head of the TSA wrote a memo at the end of last month asking office workers to volunteer at checkpoints to try to help deal with the worker shortage. And this could affect people with air travel plans coming up, and we would like to help if we can. Yeah, so joining us live right now is Kevin Bloom, Senior Travel Sales Advisor with AAA, the man with the answers. We appreciate you coming <laughs> on. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to be here. You know, so we talked a bit about the issues for passengers and the TSA just then, but what is really causing this shortage right now and the rush of travelers through airports? Well, the rush of travelers is the first thing because, you know, for so long people have been, you know, holding off on those reservations. And now that confidence is returning, more people are being vaccinated, it really is coming down to that I'm ready to book. And there's, you know, the space is being filled on the airlines, the airports are getting crowded, TSA is extremely short staffed. And so those hold lines are just, they're just astronomical in the, the huge airports. Probably Buffalo size, it won't be anywhere near as bad as something like New York or Chicago or something like that. But at the same point, they definitely need to be getting to the airport earlier. In Buffalo, we're used to showing up at uh, 50 minutes to maybe an hour or so before the flight, when the recommended domestic check-in time is two hours. So I would be heading a little bit more towards that two-hour check-in or even more because a lot of people miss their connections over the, uh, the weekend. Yeah, I got to say, Kevin, I think we're so spoiled here because we're so used to, to just getting through that checkpoint line so quickly. I mean, I've timed it before and it took me like eight minutes from the time I pulled into a parking <laughs> spot and I was at my gate. Um, there are probably some folks out there who are hearing this, not only the shortage with TSA, but also the airlines themselves are kind of in need of a lot of workers. Um, and maybe that's causing people to be concerned about the plans that they have for upcoming travel. What would be your advice to those folks? Well, definitely the earlier you start planning, the better the selection you have to choose from. The longer you keep waiting, remember, we're not back to full capacity. Um, the airlines are not back to the normal schedule yet. They're, they're, I think we're still less than 50% at this point. So there's less seats to sell in the first place. And then on top of that, with airfares being about 14% higher, um, the longer you wait, more likely the more you're gonna pay. So the earlier you make those reservations, the better the chance you're gonna get a better fare. Kevin, do you have any sense right now what the outlook is here? Is there any sign that things are going to be getting better anytime soon? Is this something that travelers who are traveling right now have to worry about? But if I'm going in a few months, I might not have to. Or what does that look like right now? There's so many different factors that are going to come into play. Are the airlines able to hire more staff? Is TSA going to be able to get more people into the airports? Um, you know, as they're increasing more capacity, the airlines are adding more flights on, but you can only add flights on if you have the crew to work them. So you've got, you know, they're hiring staff back to work the airport, they're hiring staff back to work on the aircrafts. Um, inside the aircrafts, uh, pilots are coming back, but it's a process getting all that back into place. So until that catches back up, we're looking at months before it's going to be back to what we're used to, the normal. Um, so again, earlier planning is going to be your friend, not not your uh, the, the enemy. Yeah, Kevin, we have about a minute left. You know, we just um, reported earlier today. We knew that this was coming, that starting tomorrow, Frontier is bringing back those seasonal direct flights down to Myrtle Beach, which is, which is a popular spot. Um, the, the airports and the airlines have taken a huge hit from the pandemic. Um, what is your sense about what we can expect at the Buffalo Airport in the short, medium and maybe long term about getting, you know, as you mentioned, more of these flights coming back and just getting more options and back to what we were used to? Well, again, you're, you're thinking about what's that availability going to be like when I when I decide, um, you know, the East Coast is really popular so far this year. You know, we're seeing a lot of that traffic coming into the office, whether they're driving or they're making the plans to go, uh, you know, and we are getting more international demand. But at the same point, everybody's traveling domestic at this point because they just feel more confident. They feel safer. They're not worried about, you know, am I going to be able to get back into the country? Um, and, you know, what are the restrictions going to be? So there's a lot less restrictions to deal with. So it's it really is the popular choice right now. So with that opening, it just gives people another way to do it rather than, okay, now I've got to face this 
14, 15 hour drive. Now I can be there in just a few hours. So anything that's gonna help and ease that, that crunch, that's gonna be a great thing. We can't complain about that. <laughs> We'll leave it there for now. We've been chatting with Kevin Bloom, AAA Senior Travel Sales Advisor. Kevin, thanks again for being with us tonight. Thank you. All right, and thank you everybody for watching. We always like to end by showing you the phone number that's also at the bottom of your screen. It's 849-2200 if you'd like to text or uh, text us a question or comment.